Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this video, I will be discussing today's Cap Gemini interview experience. The interview happened today only. That is on 20th January 2022. So guys, make sure that you watch it till the end and do not skip any part of this video. Guys, previously also I have uploaded 11 Cap Gemini interview experiences on my channel. So if you have not watched those videos till now, please watch them because if you have your interviews in coming days or coming weeks, these videos will be really helpful to you. So do not forget to check out this playlist the link i will give in the description box or in the i button and guys if you have not uh, subscribed to channel until now please subscribe it as well as join me all the telegram groups that are given in the description box because i am posting regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions are getting asked in them so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel Guys, before moving forward in this video, I would like to tell you about a platform that is Re-Level Platform by Unacademy. It is India's first test hiring platform. Since you are watching this video, it means that you are looking for the job opportunities. And guys, trust me, this is the platform for you. Large amount of companies have been partnered to this platform and the companies are hiring for different roles. You can see here is business development role is there front-end development role is there, back-end development role is there. So based on your preference, you can select any of this role and after selecting the role, you just have to book your slot for the test. And based on your test scores, test scores the companies which are partnered through this platform will be calling you for the interviews. Guys, two companies that are Mo Engage and OneCode are hiring for the backend development role for the job description and the syllabus. Do check out their links. I will give them in the description box. Guys, do register yourself for the re-level test because through that test you can get a chance or you can say you can get a job opportunities for from these companies. So for more information, please check the links in the description box because this hiring that is the re-level test is completely free. Okay, so guys, the date of the interview was today only, that is 20th January 2022. The branch of my friend was Tripoli. The duration of the entire interview was 10 minutes. The first question that was asked from him was, why you want, want to join IT company? So guys, there was no introduce yourself that was asked. There was no project related question asked. Straight away, the first question was, why you want to join the IT company? So being a non-IT student, being from ECE, Tripoli, Mechanical, why do you want to join an IT company? So there, there are many answers that are available on the internet. But one such answer is that, see, you can tell to the interview that in the early stages, I do not know that... Uh, I did not know that what I have to pursue as a career. So during my college life, I uh, explored different technologies and I came to know that my interest lies in the IT domain only. So this type of answers you can tell to the interviewer and he will be more than satisfied. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next question was, what is the difference between local and global variable? So guys, the difference of these uh, variables are clear from the uh, name only. See, global variables are declared outside all the function block. That is, in the starting of the program, only global variables are defined. Whereas local variables are declared within a function block. So within a uh, if, if condition uh, local variable it is uh, a variable is declared that is known as local variable. Within functions, if some variables are declared, then they are known as local variables. Now the scope of the global variables remain throughout the program. That is once the program has ended, then only those variables will be unused. Whereas local variables have the scope within the function body only. So for example, a uh, local variable is defined inside a function that can be accessed. Uh, so that variable can only be accessed inside that function. If it is defined inside a if, if block, then that variable can only be used inside a if block only. So this is the major difference between global variable and local variable. So I hope this thing is, uh, these differences are clear to you. Now, next question is, uh, you have to give the uh, logic of swap, swapping two numbers without using the third variable. So guys, if you are following the Capgemini interview series on my channel, so previous in previous videos also this exact question was asked. So I uh, so I am telling you that uh, the, uh, if you have not watched the previous video till now, please watch them. They will be really helpful for you in your interviews. So again, the playlist link I will give in the description box or in the i button. So you can see that uh, this is the logic of swapping two numbers without using the third variable. So I hope this question is clear to you. Next is what is the meaning of void in a function? So void is a return type that is uh, the void is used when the function does not return any value. So let's just suppose we have a function age. So we will declare void age and like this we will declare it. So it means that this age function is not returning any particular value whether it is string uh, any other object or any integer something. So a function is not returning anything. So that is why it is declared as void. Okay. Next is, what is the difference between call by value and call by reference? 
so as again this question is also asked uh, in many interviews of our different companies also it is not common in cap gemini but in different companies also this question is very much asked that what is the difference between call by value and call by reference so in call by value a copy of the variable is passed whereas in call by reference a variable itself is passed in call by value actual and formal argument arguments will be uh, created in different memory locations whereas in call by reference actual and formal arguments will be created at the same memory location so uh, the major difference is that in call by reference let's just suppose if we have a variable that is declared inside a main function and we pass that variable in another function so if the value of that variable changes in another function that change will also be reflected in the main uh, function also in which it was originally declared so it means that that variable is a call by reference variable but if we pass that variable in another function by call by value so if any change in the value of that uh, variable takes place in the other function and the changes are not reflected in the main function in which it, it was declared that is known as call by value so i hope i hope now the difference is clear to you okay now moving to the next question uh, you have to uh, describe the logic for converting string into integer so guys for this i will give this link in the description box you can visit this geeks for geeks link and you can uh, get the explanation for yourself there uh, there are all the different test cases that are given and it will help you in understanding this question very uh, easily so i hope this question is clear to you next is explain four pillars of oops so guys in any interview in any technical interview this question will be asked in 10 on 10 times that is the four pillars of oops you will have to explain each uh, definition of each pillar plus you will have to give the real life implementation of each of these pillars so guys this question is so important and so commonly asked in an interview that i have prepared a separate video for this question that is uh, in that video i have discussed each of these pillars in detail with the what uh, with how you have to explain these things to the interview with the help of the real life example so if i give some uh, example abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and i am really sorry the fourth one will be inheritance so polymorphism is uh, uh polymorphism is uh, existing in more than one way like function overloading for oh, sorry function uh, function overloading constructor overloading this is how polymorphism works and in inheritance you know that when a child class inherit uh, some properties from another class or you can say the parent class that is known as inheritance so these are the basic definition of these four terms but please go and watch that video in which i have discussed these four pillars in detail because it will really help you in your interviews the links i will again give in the description box okay now moving to the last question of this video that that is what are your strengths so guys whenever you are going for an interview kindly prepare two strengths and two weaknesses so that and uh, see in whenever the strength is asked you simply say that yes i am very passionate to work i can uh, i am multitasking so all these things you say but whenever a weakness is asked in an interview many of you fumble because you do not know what to answer you cannot uh, uh, give them your real weakness you cannot uh, uh, dodge the question so you get confused so beforehand only try to uh, try to learn two strengths about yourself that what you have to tell to the interviewer and two weaknesses for yourself what you have what you have to tell to the interviewer and you will be good to go so guys these are all the questions which are asked in this interview and uh, this interview was a non cs it student interview so i i hope if you have interviews in coming days or coming weeks this video will be helpful to you and if you like this video kindly hit the subscribe button and please share this video among your friends and guys thank you for watching it and do check out the playlist where i have discussed the uh, latest uh, interview experiences of capgemini again the links are in the description box thank you for watching this video